Next, we're going to make our stem. When you add a buttonhole, I'll show you how to do that. But first, I'm going to show you how to make the solid part. What you need to do is grab your brown yarn. And there should be four single crochets at the top here. See, this is a half double. And this is a half double. And here is the four single crochets. So you're going to join in that first one. And then you're going to pull your yarn through, chain one, put a single crochet in the first stitch, and in the next three stitches. And chain one, turn, single crochet across, chain one, turn, and you're going to do that three more times, three more rows, and then I'll meet you back. So after you have five single crochet rows, chain one, and you're going to put five double crochets in the first stitch. Five all in that stitch. Then you're going to put a double crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet in the next stitch and then a half double crochet in the final stitch and then you can cut your yarn what you should have is a stem right here in the middle and there's going to be a little knob facing one way or facing the other way what you need to do is if this is your first time through then you can do it just like that but if this is your second time through making the second apple slice then you're going to need to flip the direction of the stem here which is super easy to do so you're also going to want to make a buttonhole so I'm going to take this out so that I can make my buttonhole one. But first you'll need to make one like this and one with a buttonhole. If you're doing a button. So for the second stem, you're going to start out the same as before with the four single crochets. But what I'm going to do is do two more rows or three more rows. Of only two stitches so depending on how big your button is my button is pretty big so I'm gonna go three rows of only two stitches and then I'm gonna cut my yarn then what you need to do is join it on the other side chain one and same thing you're gonna fill in those second two stitches with three rows one two or two rows so now I have it's like the stem but it's split in half so now that I'm here, I have a total of four rows. You might have a total of three rows. But we need to complete the stem so that we have our total of five rows, just like the other one. So what I'm going to do is slip stitch into the next, slip stitch into the next, and that connects our little buttonhole. And I'm going to chain one. 
and single crochet across in each stitch. That gives me five rows of single crochets with a slit in the middle. If at this point you only have four, then just go ahead and do another row of single crochets across. Now what you need to do is you need to take your first one and lay them bad sides together so that you can figure out which direction you need your stem to be. I need my little knob to be on this side. I'll do it the same way as I did the last one. Five double crochets in the first stitch, one double crochet, one double crochet, and one half double crochet. If you need it to be on this side, half double crochet, double crochet, and then do five double crochets in the last stitch. So you just need to reverse it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my stem with my five double crochets, leaving the tail. So now, when the time comes for me to place my button, it'll slide right through this little hole here, and it'll fasten. Whether you're on your first or your second, the rest of this remains pretty much the same. The next part. So, where we join for the next part, Make sure your, your apple is front facing with the good side facing you. From here, you're going to count out the next 18 single crochets. So here was our four, and then here's the first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So you're going to join your cream yarn in the 18th stitch. Or insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then you're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. So that would be the 17th stitch. Single crochet there, single crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet in the next two stitches, then you're gonna do four double crochet increases. Then you're going to do two treble crochet increases. A treble crochet in the next stitch, a double crochet increase in the next stitch, two double crochets, one in the next two stitches, and then you're going to finish with three half double crochets. And that should take you right up to our apple stem. going to chain one, turn your work, you're going to half double crochet in the first stitch, then place three double crochets in the next three stitches, treble crochet in the next three stitches, Double crochet in the next three stitches. Half double crochet in the next three stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. And then slip stitch to the next stitch and cut your yarn. So now you should have a little, the top of the apple starting to come into form. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the opposite, the same exact thing on this side. So you'll, you can rewind the video to that part and you'll do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Join your yarn on the 18th stitch. And then do the same exact thing. Okay, now we have to do the bottom part. To start, you should flip it to the bottom. I don't know why it's not focusing. And you'll see an increase. So you have a bunch of double crochets. Then you have a double crochet increase and then you have a treble increase so we're going to join our yarn in that first treble pull your yarn through you're going to single crochet into the next stitch and you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to do a double crochet increase in the next stitch You're going to do three treble crochet increases. One. Two. Three. And you're going to treble crochet in the next stitch. Two, a double crochet in the next two stitches, half double crochet in the next three stitches, double crochet in the next four stitches. Half double crochet in the next three stitches, double crochet in the next two stitches, treble crochet in the next, then once again you're going to do three treble crochet increases. Then a double crochet increase. A half double crochet. A single crochet. And then you'll slip stitch to the last stitch. Which should be the same treble but on the opposite side. Chain one. Cut your yarn. Okay. That is the entire apple core now we just have to do the outside for the outside color you're going to join that color into the first stitch here right by the stem should be a half double crochet this whole thing is worked in half double crochets this whole outside so you're going to chain one do six half double crochets Increase one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Increase a half double crochet in the next four stitches. Increase two times. going to do 25 half double crochets increase in the next stitch half double crochet in the next stitch increase 
three times. Half double crochet in the next. Increase in the next. Increase in the next. And we're going to do six half double crochets. Then we're going to decrease. So you should be at least four middle double crochets. And we're going to decrease. So you're going to wrap your yarn, insert into the first, pull up a loop. And then we're going to insert into the second, pull up a loop, pull through all four. And that's our decrease. We're going to do that again. Yarn over, insert into the first, pull up a loop second pull up a loop and pull through so two decreases six half double crochets then two increases one half double crochet then three increases. One half double crochet. One increase. And then we have 25 half double crochets. Then we're going to do two increases. Four half double crochets. Increase. Two half double crochets. Increase. And then six half double crochets. So I did my six half double crochets and I actually have um, one stitch left. So I'm just going to add one more half double on the end so if that happens it's fine now we're going to start the second round so you either need to start out with seven half double crochets but since i i needed to do seven on the last round i'm going to do eight so And we're going to increase. We're going to do one half double. Increase again. Then we're going to do seven half doubles. Increase again, and we're going to do 30 half doubles, and we're going to increase, do five half double crochets. Increase. 
seven half double crochets. Then we're going to do two decreases. Actually, then we're going to do two more decreases. Seven half double crochets. Increase five half double crochets. Increase thirty half double crochets. Okay, then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. So now we need to weave in all of these ends and then for the stem part here, since it's all floppy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it flat and I'm going to join this here together because it kind of curls in and then I'm going to lay the stem down and sew it over top. Of any overlapping parts if that makes sense so that it kind of lays on top I'm gonna make sure I don't cover up the buttonhole and you can do that on both sides so the strap is gonna also be the bottom of the bag so I made my strap eight single crochets long so we're gonna make a slip knot And then chain nine. Then you're going to single crochet in the second stitch and all the way across. It should give you eight stitches. Then chain one, turn, and single crochet across again. For another eight stitches. So you're going to do that back and forth until you have a really long strap and it is going to need to go all the way around the bottom of the apple and be long enough to go over your shoulder so you want it to go all the way around the apple and be a shoulder strap so you have to do a lot of rows now if you don't want to have the bottom of the apple like that you can you could skip that and you could make the strap so that it just is on the top whatever you want so once you have all of these pieces and you've hidden all your ends I'm going to show you how to join everything together okay so I hid all my ends and I connected the stem so you should have two of these. You need to make two of those, if I didn't already say that. And then, once you have your strap, first thing I'm going to do is join it in a circle. Make sure you don't cross. So let me join. So now you should have a big continuous loop. I'm going to sew it along all the way up on both sides until about where it starts to curl again. So probably right to here. Sew it and then you're done. 
so you need to cut a piece of yarn about that long so that you can sew it on okay so i joined the first side now you just need to flip it over connect the other side and join it the same exact way all right the last thing we need to do is attach our button so you're going to put it on the inside there lined up and you're just going to go through the back and then down and then back up through the back down again until it's secure and then flip it to the back and tie a knot so here is the finished product it has you know the strap and the apple and the button here so show you how that is got the little button i hope you guys enjoyed um I hope it was easy enough to follow along. I made the pattern all by myself, so it took me a long time to record this video. I might release a written version on Etsy if somebody wants it. It might be easier to follow along that way, but if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun stuff, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.